Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Shed of Dread. Right then, let's get into this one. And before we do, don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe. Much appreciated. So, I am sure by now you're all fully aware that uh, all the things that I've been doing about uh, Noel Clark, where I actually feel that he's innocent. And I've mentioned a fair few times since the Hugh Edwards stuff, yeah, I can actually mention his name now, has sort of come out, that um, it's amazing how a middle-class white BBC news reporter is being treated completely different to a working-class black actor-slash-director writer. It's amazing, the things we said. And the best thing is, is, of course, if you don't know, then go on to the Justice for Noel C on Twitter. Uh, if you also go on to any of my uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, there's a pinned thing on there about um, the Guardian's report into the Noel Clark incidents and how easy it was to rip it apart. Well, the Guardian... <laughs> if BBC presents a story teaches us anything, it's we should be the pitfalls of rushing to a judgment. This is the same paper that rushed to a joint judgment and destroyed Noel Clark's career with dodgy writing, poorly things, rushed things, and it was done solely to destroy his career, and then they disappeared, never backing it up, never taking it anywhere further. The tabloids were champing at the bit for the name, but the questions over the Sun story had driven home the need for caution. Okay. If the scale of the BBC crisis could be judged by the number of cameras outside broadcasting house, the broadcaster's position was pretty dire. I mean, we're going back over stuff, but basically... Um, someone came out. Now, the best thing is, is now it's actually not The Sun who's producing all the evidence. It's the BBC itself. I mean, apparently, old Hugh Edwards was um, under investigation by uh, law, a few other people, uh, Victoria Derbyshire, apparently, all investigating Hugh because all knew who. But it's amazing, knew who. <laughs> um, it's all amazing how it all came out. So, now, you know, oh, it's all not true and he should be... Oh, it was, the claims have been rubbish. There's no evidence of anything wrongdoing. Well, there wasn't with Noel Clark. There was rumour. There was speculation. But there was no evidence at all. No claims, you know, nothing. But, of course, because Noel is a black working class actor slash writer slash director slash producer uh, and Hugh Edwards is white and a BBC presenter and middle class, there we go. And then we get things like this one. Why is the British media so utterly bonkers? Hugh Edwards' saga shows the UK tabloids are both reckless and dangerous and restrained at the same time. Well, for one, the Sun did break the story and then the Sun bottled it because of the uh, now mental health armour. You know, that, that, that thing that always comes out... Um, Oh, I've been caught. Oh, well, I've got mental health issues. Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. We'll just won't do anything. Some won't work, do anything. But the sun doesn't need to now because it's actually the BBC that's bringing all the information out. As mad as it is. I mean, we get this one. Uh, oh, this, well, it's a, it's a paper that had topless women on it. page three for 50 years. Uh, so? That doesn't mean anything. I mean, don't get me wrong. The sun's a dirty rag. But it's just unbelievable. You know, and we had everything, and now he's like, um, it was his name, apparently in hospital. I mean, remember, it wasn't the it wasn't the BBC who said it was. It wasn't anyone. It was his wife, which he's now carrying behind uh, there because it was to protect, to protect, you know, the family and, and, and our children. Yeah, but none of you lot give a flying shit when you destroyed Noel's family. Not a flipping thing. You cancelled him, you destroyed him, you ripped him of everything. You didn't give a shit about his wife or his kids or how he was going to pay for anything. No, 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 no. But this is all good. And then, of course, we get this one, of course, as soon as oh, it comes. Oh, here we go. It's Caroline Flack. Oh, that, that, that other little gem that comes out all the time. Because that's, that's the way it is. Because as soon as you say anything, oh, mental health. Oh, well, you know, Caroline Flack. Well, Caroline Flack was something completely different, not the same. And it's not an excuse. What Hugh Edwards uh, allegedly did, it was disgusting. And he gets what he wants. But apparently, because he's white, middle class, and a BBC thing, he should come back on the TV. 
Oh, well, there's nothing, there was nothing to prove. There's no evidence. He hasn't done anything wrong getting back on the TV. There was nothing wrong with Noel Clark, but you didn't get him back on TV. In fact, you go out of your way to destroy him and continue to destroy him and continue to slur him and continue to follow something that's never been backed up, never been followed up, never been dealt with at all. You know, and it just makes me sick all these folks. Oh, you know, it's a uh, look after him because he's mental. It's, it's an armor. The only reason he's got a mental health issue is because he got caught. And as soon as now, it's like everything else. I know, I know a lot of people are going to go really mad at me about this, but I don't care. Yeah? This is what happens, you know. You have people like this. Oh, it's mental health. Philip Schofield. Oh, it's affecting my mental health. Well, don't forget Caroline Flack. Yeah, someone blows up a bit. Oh, it's mental health. Someone goes, a bloke goes running around France stabbing kiddies in push chairs. Mental health. Somebody runs somebody over and kills some people. In Nottingham, oh well, you know, mental health issues, and, and 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 don't do anything to upset anyone. Mental health issues seems to be the ultimate defence. If you're a dickhead, you get caught, you do something wrong. The first thing you go is mental health. I've got mental health problems. Oh, it's mental health. Oh, okay, then we'll we'll go easy on you, and you know, we'll, I mean, like the killings in Nottingham, just quiet, really, just nothing, not a thing, because he's got mental health problems. As all the hoo-ha when France kicked off and, oh, you shot that guy and, hey, you're the French, where you're all this, that, and the other. Totally silent when it comes down to kids being stabbed in a push chair because it was mental health issues. Mental health armour. PTSD. Don't see me using that as an excuse for everything. Because it isn't. Yeah, we all have mental health. And, and by using it as an excuse, oh, I've got mental health, you actually de you know, you, you demean those people who really have genuine mental health issues. And everybody goes, oh, well, you know, on a human level, oh, it's a shame. But what about these victims? And all the people he's bullied and gone, they don't count. No, because it's his, it's his, we need to, yeah, he dealt with the queen. He's, he, no. But of course, he'll probably get away with it and he'll probably get back on. See, because the problem is, is the BBC doesn't understand anything. It's learned nothing from the Savile. And what everybody forgets about this case is the BBC sat on this for seven weeks and did nothing. They were hoping everybody would just forget about it and go away. And now we've got everybody coming out with all the pro, oh, you know, it's a shame, mental health, blah, 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 blah. And they'll be welcomed back with open arms because, you know, shh, don't want to mention that. No, nothing. All the evidence people are coming out left, right, and centre now. Where, you know, whether they're true, whether they're not, who knows? Who really, really knows? Because no one does. But the simple truth of the matter is, you learn nothing. But it was nice to see um, something else that came on, which was um, very, very um, wonderful. And I'll bring it up here. Very nice, old uh, Piers Morgan. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Piers Morgan's a bit of a knob, and he, he flim flams and he goes from left to right depending on how the wind's blowing. Which is fair enough. But what he said here was absolutely right. I'll just play it for you. So, for example, uh, Noel Clark, who was the guy who got cancelled for a load of a load of uh, allegations from women, he didn't face any criminal charges in the end, and he was tweeting, "Did anyone care about my mental health?" Well, they didn't. I remember there was absolutely total unforgiving uh, slaughter for him, cancellation him. of his entire. Right, just before this, Eva, whoever her name is, yeah, it's bold for him. I'll tell you what. If you want to stake a statement like that, back it up. No, seriously, back it up. Piers is right there, you know. It was relentless. It still is. It's still relentless. We're going, oh, it's bold of him. Sick of it now, of people doing this. This is where this Hugh Edwards come here. It's, oh, there's no allegations, so just forget it. Don't say anything. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, but how can somebody say, oh, it's bold of him? What the fuck do you know? See, because you get a lot of people who do this on the internet, you know, when, when they're talking about it, and you mention all clock, oh, well, you know, is this and the other. Well, can you back it up with what you got? Well, The Guardian said. Yeah, well, The Guardian just, uh, you know, recently just said that um, the BBC presenters shouldn't rush to judgment. They rushed to judgment, destroyed it. Absolutely destroyed him. But no, 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 that's all right. That's absolutely fine, you know. Don't worry about it. It's shh. It's okay. You know, he's he's got mental health, and he's he's one of us, and uh, yeah, he's 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 um he's one of the clan, so we can't can't say anything because uh, that would be wrong. 
Um, so let's just keep our eyes and let's just do what we do with everything. Everybody does exactly the same one. Everybody does exactly the same over and over and over again. It's just... It's just ridiculous. It really, really is. Um, you know, I, I said in a tweet myself, um, when when people put this on, oh, let me just bring it up. Yeah, Sky News. A lot of people think will want to see him on our screen again. Barrison, former BBC reporter, Jennifer Nadal, thinks there's a lot of public sympathy for you, Edwards. No, there isn't. So I put her, yeah. And this is the truth. And whether you like it or not, don't give a shit. Because it is the truth. If this had been Nigel Farage or Lawrence Fox, you'd be screaming for his blood. This was, But when this was a black working-class actor like Noel Clark, you literally destroyed his life. But when it's a white middle-class friend, he becomes a victim. You make me sick. We all see you. Because that's the truth. Whether you like it or not, whether you, whether you agree with me or not, I genuinely don't give a flying monkeys. With these things going on, with all these people swinging around and hugging him, oh, who's, who's this, who's that, and he deserves to come back. It's because he's white, it's because he's middle class, and it's because he works at the BBC News Reading. But if you're black and you're working class, you're nothing. We don't care. When you go, somebody goes, oh, what about his mental, you know, what about my mental health? You know, and it's, it, you know, it's, 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 you know, well known that Noel's been through the ringer over this. And then imagine sitting there thinking, oh, this, that, and the other. And this happens with Hugh Edwards. And you think, oh, here we go. And they go, oh, what a shame. How would that make you feel? Seriously, how would it make you feel? You've been sat there and you would expect the same treatment of him as you, as in your entire life and career is completely destroyed based on rumours and unsupported accusations, which is what's happened to Hugh Edwards. But because he's, you know, it's Hugh Edwards, it's, well, we shouldn't jump to conclusions. But if he's a black guy, oh, well, it's, it's, it's him, in it? Um, you know, you can see if you look very, very, you know, you don't even have to look very, very hard, really. You can see that, obviously, it, 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 this clearly is a race issue. But before that, I mean, nobody will argue with that. You can't argue with the class system, though, can you? It's wrong. It really is wrong. Noel Clark had his life removed. And then when you get something that's ex almost similar with accusations and rumours, everybody jumps to Hugh Edwards' you know, defence, but no one jumped to Knowles. And there are people who would love to say things about people, but they can't because they'll lose their, they'll lose their live, livelihoods. What we need to do now is you, this, this one rule for one, one rule for another needs to fucking stop. It's getting beyond a bloody joke now. If he gets reinstated, so should Noel Clark. People should now, if you can prove anything that was said about Noel Clark, then give me the evidence and I'll gladly take it to the police. If any of you who made those claims in the Guardian newspaper can back them up, come to me and we'll go to the police together. I mean, none of you have. Not one single police report has ever been made against Noel Clark, ever. If you work for the Guardian, you want to speak to me and prove, show me the evidence you have and prove what you wrote in your hit piece in that rag of yours is the truth, then contact me. Show me the fucking evidence and I will gladly come here on YouTube and tell everyone. You're not gonna, because there ain't none. But it's there. I'm offering there. Here we go. Anyone who has any evidence, solid evidence, against what to prove that what they claim that was done, that Noel Clark did, Bring it to me. I'll bring it out. I'll put it on the internet and we can all see and we can all make a judgment. But you're not going to do that. Oh, yeah. And if you're all your haters, oh, is this, that, and you're that, well, if you want to believe what's written in the newspaper, then you're a thick idiot. You really are. And if you are prepared to jump to Hugh Edwards' defence, then you should be jump to everybody. And don't forget there are other people. I mean, let's remember how horrendous it was for uh, Cliff Richard. Who have successfully sued the BBC and had to pay a fortune for them destroying his life because they decided they didn't like him that day. The BBC isn't an independent, unbiased news organisation. It is part of the establishment, part of the problem. Any case, I'm done. 
as I said, if you want to see some more information, I have a pinned tweet uh, with reports on both my social medias. But there's also a Twitter group um, run by whoever. No idea whoever it is. It's definitely um, it's sticking up for Noel. And that's the Justice for Noel C on Twitter. Go on there uh, and read all the information that's on there because there's loads of information uh, you can get from there. All the things that debunk everything that was said and all the evidence that proves that what was said didn't happen. Because unlike The Guardian, we have a gentleman called John the White. You know John the White if you watch my streams on Doctor Why We Love Doctor Who. Um, he's done a fantastic article uh, that destroyed everything that The Guardian has said and just ripped it to shreds. Um, so there you go. Any case, with that I'm done. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. Please like and share. And if you if you agree with what I'm saying about Noel Clark, then please show your support. Because Noel could do with it. Because at the moment, it's, this must be cutting him to the bone. Really must be cutting him to the bone. It's, 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 and it's completely unfair. It really is. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you want to watch this or more, any other more of my content on my channel. I, I do a bit of gaming, bits of skylines, and I you know do a bit of the new stuff like this, and I do you know, film reviews and things like that. It's all on there for you. So please feel free to subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to ding the bell and select it to all. And with that, I'm done. With all, with all, And all you really, really, really need to do now, while my mouth goes as dry as Gandhi's flip-flop, is get out of the shed. <laughs>